Do you want to know how to turn your 16.9 widescreen videos into Gary V meme style videos with captions in just minutes and without any fancy video editing software? G'day, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and on this channel I share tips, tricks and strategies to help you engage your ideal audience to action through effective online video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and then the bell to stay up to date as new videos are released to help you. Okay, so we've all seen those meme style videos across social media, eye catching headline and text captions across the bottom. It's a trend likely started by guys like Gary V, which has become an absolute must do in order for your videos to engage audiences in this autoplay kind of sound off news feeds on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Or how about nine by 16 vertical videos in Instagram TV? So how can you take an existing 16.9 or widescreen video and frame it in your brand style with captions quickly and cheaply? Well, stick around because I'm gonna share one awesome way to do this without any video editing software, which only takes a few minutes. My toolkit for this, a free Canva account and automatic captioning app, Quick. Ready? Here we go. Okay, let's jump on into canva.com. And you can use a free account here, so no need to upgrade to pro. First of all, you click on create a design and custom dimensions. Now we're going for a square aspect ratio video here. So the dimensions are 1080 by 1080. Once you've got your blank square canvas ready to go, we need to think about how we want to design the frame for our 16.9 videos in the brand style. So what we're gonna do first of all is uh, click on some of the elements that we have here. And in this case, I'm going to select this background image of our paper roll in the studio. And I've got that which I've imported into Canva previously. And I'm gonna drag that, scale that right on up. Beautiful. And now we wanna um, bring in the video layer. So I've already imported the video and this is the full two minutes, 45 seconds, 16, nine video, which I'm just gonna click and drop on in. Now what I wanna do is just scale that video up, keeping the dimensions as is, and I wanna make sure it's centered in the frame. Okay, perfect, so that's ready to go. Now what I wanna do is go back to my images and here's our logo, which I've previously uploaded. I'm just going to scale that down and drag it up and place it up in the top left hand corner. Now what I wanna do is to get a text tool, add a heading, and I'm going to scale that up and I'm gonna say, what's your brand archetype? So once I've got the title there, I'm going to just work on some of the formatting here. Perfect. The benefit of using Canva for this process is we can actually start to add some new elements that are animated into the video. So for example, um, we can add in a thumbs up element to encourage people to like the video. And in this case, I'm going to scale it right down so it's not in the way of the captions, which are going to be down the bottom. And I'm going to then grab an arrow I'm going to select this arrow element here, scale it down, rotate it around, and bring it right down here. Awesome, cool. Now, one other thing that I want to add is a, another sticker, which is pretty useful for using on sound off video platforms, which is to encourage people to actually turn the sound on. So using some of these pre-made stickers on Canva is a really great way to encourage people to turn the sound on and to listen with the sound on. So there we go, that is awesome. Okay, so basically that video is gonna download with these animated elements as well. And then we can use this in the next phase of the process to add the burnt in captions to the bottom of the screen. So I'm gonna click download and here we go. So our base video is downloaded. Let's head on over to Quick. This platform is awesome and it makes it super easy to automatically transcribe and then burn in captions into any video. And I'm gonna show you how we do this right now. So once you log into your account, you'll be able to get your video file, which we've just downloaded from Canva, which we've just created, and just drop it in and upload to Quick. 
I'm going to change the transcribing to Australian English so that it better understands my accent and click go to video management. You'll see here that Quick is now currently automatically transcribing my video. Now this video is 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Let's see how long it takes to transcribe the video. And once it's finished transcribing, you'll click ready to edit. In the editing panel here, we'll be able to preview the video and check that the transcription is correct and make any changes that we need to. So we'll do that now. Okay, so as you can see where the transcription feels that it's possibly not quite correct, it's usually highlighted in yellow. So that makes it really easy to go through and very quickly uh, adjust and adapt the transcription, fix any punctuation that you wanna fix and make it perfect, ready to go. It only takes a few minutes. Next, what you wanna do is to click on this font icon here and then we're able to adapt the way that the transcription is actually displayed below the video so I'm going to click play here as we can see these changes so we can choose different formats that are going to suit so what I'm going to do in this case is just choose the straight font without any background color I'm going to make it white perfect Okay, a whole bunch of different options you can choose here. You can choose whether they're at the top or at the bottom. You can reposition the padding so that they fit perfectly in there. But you see, that's just by default, it's just landed exactly where we want it to be. All I wanna do now is click finalize video. And you'll see it'll take a couple of moments to finalize the video. Okay, so Quick has finalized the video. Now all we need to do is to click right here and there you go. You can see that we've got a video with burnt in captions ready to go. Now before we move on, I just wanna point out one important feature of Quick is that with every transcription, you can actually get access to the SRT file, which is the subtitle file that you can then use um, on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook to add subtitles directly using the native subtitling function on those platforms. However, this is usually not necessary when you've created burnt in captions on your videos. And we're done. Your video is now ready to go for native upload on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And if you wanna have a go with Quick's automatic captioning for yourself, then jump on in on my partner link and get 10 minutes free and then double the minutes in your first month. Just go to engagevideomarketing.com slash quick. But don't go anywhere just yet because now I wanna show you how this same process with a couple of small tweaks can be used to repurpose further to create native vertical video in a nine by 16 frame, which is ideal for Instagram TV. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just go to create a new design. And in this case, we're going to go with custom dimensions, which are 1080 by 1920. The 1080 by 1920 dimensions will give us a vertical version or a nine by 16 frame to work from. Now, what we do is basically the same process again, but taking into account the different frame, we're going to slightly vary some of the approach. Okay, now importantly when designing for Instagram TV, we wanna be aware of the middle section, which is kind of like this four by five section here, is what's actually gonna show on the Instagram feed when you do a feed preview. So when you take an Instagram TV and you choose the option to preview the first 60 seconds in the feed, it's actually gonna truncate or cut off the top and bottom of your Instagram TV vertical video. So you wanna make sure that your critical elements are within that four by five rectangle region. We also want to make sure that we're leaving space for the captions in which we're going to create in quick exactly as before. And why not make use of some of the stickers that we talked about before. And in this case, what we can, for example, make use of is some Instagram specific stickers such as the link in bio sticker, um, for example, to refer people to, to check out your Instagram profile and hopefully follow you there. Perfect. Love it. So we can download and we can bring it back into Quick and go from there exactly as I just described before. Right now you have the workflow and it's up to you to get creative and play with your brand style to find an approach you love and that your audience loves too. Again, if you're keen to give Quick a try, I invite you to do so via my partner link below so you get 10 minutes free and then double the minutes in your first month. So get out there and start crushing your organic native video strategy in just minutes. 
And if you want more tips for nailing your video marketing strategy this year, check out this video right here and I'll see you in the next video.